the woman, two fat and bleeding thighs, gave up her daily habit of not being a wide bride. Sarah Swallow, 31, used to eat sugary and fattening snacks but decided to completely change her lifestyle after her partner asked her to marry him. Sarah didn't want to be a wide bride. Comments The woman, who was very fat, and her thighs bled when they rubbed, lost six stones because she didn't want to be a wide bride. Self-proclaimed Sarah Swallow has swelled up to a size 22 and eats family-sized chocolate bars every day as a snack. The 17-stone mom was fed sweets, biscuits, and whole tubs of ice cream on her own as well as fat foods and junk food. She was so fat that she could only squeeze her feet into slippers, and her GP refused to give her birth control pills because they were too dangerous for overweight women. Sarah, 31, started the yo-yo diet in an effort to lose weight, vacillating between overeating and starving herself on a juice-only diet. Sarah's thighs were bleeding when she was a size 22. She is now a size 8 after losing 6 stones. The bride lost 8 stones after buying her dream dress in 4 sizes too small. Only after her partner, a painter and decorator, introduced Lee, 35, on vacation and saw a photo of her stepping out in a size 22 jumpsuit for her 30th birthday, did she vow to be skinny. She lost an amazing 6 stones and had to wear her wedding dress 5 times to walk down the aisle a size 8 bride. I was so excited when he asked me to marry him, said Sarah, a hairstylist from Brighton. But the thought of walking down the aisle, or more like walking around, filled me with awe. I wasn't going to get married in a huge tent-like dress, so I decided to radically change my bad eating habits. The fish and chips dinner and snacks round out the snack with cheesecake washed down with milkshake and chocolate bars. It came in a healthy, balanced meal plan that focuses on fresh fruits and vegetables. I wasn't hungry and the weight dropped, Sarah said. I watched a new look, skinny, appear in the mirror and couldn't believe I was. She looked as good as I felt. Suddenly, a woman who hated seeing pictures of her as a whale on the beach, in a pink swimsuit could wear a mini bikini as she goes from fabric to fabric. I was greedy and lazy. I ate what I wanted and never went to the gym. I only went for a walk if there was a bun at the end of it, and yet I hated my look. My thighs were huge and covered in cellulite and deep dimples. My arms were about the size of my thighs and I had a wave of back fat. When it was hot or when we were going abroad on vacation, I could hardly walk. I was so big. My thighs were so lumpy that they were bleeding. Sarah joined the local Slimming World Club after Lee fell on one knee during a family vacation in Ibiza with their children, Archie, 8, and Harry, 4. I bought my dress at a discount off the shelves, and every time I went for a fit, they had to keep getting it. I was so happy even a couple of days before the wedding, the tailor told me not to lose any more. Sarah said she hates her looks and doesn't want to be a spread bride. She radically changed her eating plan and ditched her daily chocolate habit. I took it the last time and he said it would stop me if I lost any more weight. I started yawning from the front because my breasts were so much smaller. Sarah went from a size 22 to a size 8 and now weighs 10 pounds, 13 pounds. It was a special day and I was very proud of myself. I looked and felt beautiful for the first time. Now I want to inspire others, I was the laziest and greedy person around, so if I could lose weight, anyone could. Sarah was determined not to walk down the aisle on her wedding day. What did Sarah eat before? Breakfast, two cups of coffee with whole milk, two sugars, three biscuits with custard cream, two slices of white toast with butter and peanut butter. Mid-morning meal, a cup of tea with whole milk and sugar. Chocolate digestive biscuits. Lunch, cheese and ham sandwich made with white bread and scrambled mayonnaise. Cheese and onion chips, a family-sized piece of chocolate from dairy milk and a glass of orange juice. Afternoon snack, Haribas O afternoon snack, apple. A cup of water. Dinner, spaghetti bolognese with tomato sauce. Accidental drink, gin and lemon tonic. This was Sarah's story and what she faced from the suffering of obesity, which had an obstacle not to be a bride who enjoys a good physique, but in the end, our heroine Sarah overcame the extra weight and achieved her dream of wearing the wedding dress that she had always dreamed of wearing, as she is an example of a strong woman who should follow suit. Which of you would not be like Sarah in achieving the winning weight because a healthy mind resides in a healthy body? Health is a great and invaluable blessing that must be preserved. It is what makes a person can spend his life normally, and because health is very important to a person. Health is the real wealth, not a piece of gold or ore.